Shalom and welcome. Today we're going to go over the third of the 48 ways. Arichat Sfatayim. Saying it out loud. We know that words have a very special power. Um, there's the saying growing up, you know, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And meaning that a kid shouldn't complain what's said to them. They should just complain if someone hits them, you know. But it's, it's not such a good statement we learn because actually words can have uh, a lot of power. And God forbid that this has happened though in the past that someone has, has bullied someone with words and they did something as a shalom like uh, committed suicide, things like that. Um, words have caused, you know, wars to start. Words have caused lots of hatred, sometimes much more worse things than... Um, physical action. So words have a tremendous amount of power. That's in the negative. Uh, they also have an amazing uh, positive power, like uh, blessings, giving brachot. Um, you know, or I think how good you feel when someone gives you a compliment or, uh, you know, the Jewish custom on your birthday when someone has what's, uh, what's called the special um, luck that's with them on their birthday to give brachot, to, to bless people with a good uh, parnasa, good living, good health. Um, shalom bay, things like that. So we need to use our words in the right way. Um, and we need to really um, know when to say things out loud, because a lot of the time it's better to not say something out loud, as we discussed previously. It's better to just, you know, not gossip, not, you know, keep it inside and don't say it. But sometimes we really do need to say things out loud. And it's interesting, Rav Noach mentions here that there's a big difference between a library and a baby drush. A library, quiet as can be. People are learning books silently, you know? Baby drush, you go in there, there's a lot of noise, people are learning intensely, but in a very loud way. And that's because in a baby drush, people are trying to really learn uh, things from the Torah, learn ideas that will be internalized into their body. Um, and to really internalize things, we need to say things out loud. Um, it says in the Gemara, in Masechet uh, Brachot, the Tractate of Brachas, that um, it is always better to learn with someone else than by, by yourself. And part of the big reason for this is that to say something, um, verbalizing it makes you internalize it a lot, the idea a lot more. So... Um, we need to internalize what we learn. Otherwise, we're just wasting our time because we'll learn it and forget it. So we need to learn. And then we need to either teach it or say it to ourselves, say it out loud. Um, Rav Noach Weinberg had a famous saying, which is, if you know Aleph, teach Aleph. So when you learn something, go right ahead and teach what you learn. Helps other people learn. And it helps you internalize better through teaching. Um, so saying something also can show you how well do you know something. Uh, you ever try explaining something that you thought you knew, but then you try explaining it and you're like, it didn't come out so clearly. Maybe I need to really know this better. Um, you know, let's say you're standing for a test. Again, uh, you're explaining how the heart works and how blood pumps through the body and things like that. And it, it makes sense to you in your head, but then you, you can't really explain it out loud. Um, that means it probably requires a little more review until you're able to quickly, thoroughly, clearly explain it. So saying it out loud tests our knowledge of something. Um, let's see. So there are some rabbis that I know before they start a Torah class, they'll say like a line that kind of like pumps them up. Like I know um, one rab says, uh, Hashem, Hashem, before every class, like in the name of the Almighty, we should do and we should be successful. You know, and that's like his motto that like pumps him up. So uh, sometimes it's good to verbalize like a motto and have like certain slogans um, that give us strength. You know, a very common one is Gamzu Tova. That's what we say when something bad happens to us. You know, oh, I, you know, oh, I, I, I crashed my car. Okay, Gamzulatova, maybe that car wasn't such a safe car in general. Maybe I should try to get a safer car. Maybe I should be driving less or things like that. You know, try to see the good in the seemingly bad things in life because 
everything is from the Almighty, and we need to see the bad even uh, as as good. So that's a very common one. Gamzu Latova, this too is good, or Gamze Yavo, uh, this too shall pass, and the famous one. Um, and actually, every name has like a special uh, pasuk, a special verse connected to their name. Like my name, Mordechai, um, is Ma Ahavti Toratecha Kol Ayom Isichati. Starts with the mem, ends with a yud. So Mordechai, and this means that um, you know how much I love your Torah. All all day, it's on my on my mouth. Oh, very appropriate actually for this uh, for this chapter. So Torah should always be on the tip of my tongue. So that is my, my motto, um, that I should probably even say it more, but um, they recommend that you say that after davening the uh, Amidah to recite your specific verse uh, that's, that's connected to your name. So we should all have slogans to fire us up, you know, and uh, we see that a lot in sports, you know, you can do it and it's okay, you'll get them next time. And, you know, sports is so much like pump up, you know, one-liners. And uh, we can use that in other parts of life that are way different than sports, you know, learning and things like that. It's not sports, but it's, we can use this idea of motivating ourselves through like a one-liner in other things, not just sports, you know? Um, and uh, let's see, so just as um, verbalizing good things is, is, uh, you know, oh, like maybe sometimes we should compliment people more and we just don't, we're lazy basically. So we should take the time to do that and compliment people and speak, say good things. And maybe we want to say Dvar Torah, but we don't know, you know, should I? Should, I know, we should do it. We should verbalize good things and teach. You know, Aleph, teach Aleph. Now on the opposite side of the spectrum, we should be aware of, uh, beware of negative self-talk. So, you know, you make a silly mistake. Oh, I'm so stupid, you know? No, 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 things like that, you know, we should avoid it. We should avoid it. We shouldn't um, let ourselves get more down by verbalizing negative things about ourselves. And, and it is also, we shouldn't um, verbalize gossip. We shouldn't uh, say curse words, you know, something bad could happen and you just, a curse word is something that's verbalized sometimes after, uh, some, something bad happens, you know, again, uh, God forbid, again, crash your car, curse word, you know, and it, we shouldn't, we shouldn't do this. We need to be very careful of our speech and to verbalize blessings, not curses. Um, and so just to summarize this chapter, you learn something, you should verbalize it so that you know it better and so that you can teach others. So you learn Aleph, teach Aleph, as Rav Noch Weinberg says. Um, Test how much you know by talking it out. Can you really explain the details of how something works? Studying for a test, giving a speech. You know, are you able to really explain um, what you think you have sorted out in your head? And practice a speech many times so that you really have it, you have it down. Um, when you make a resolution, you know, I am gonna go on a diet and lose 20 pounds. Better, you should verbalize that to someone, to your spouse, to your friend, you know, uh, not just keep it within. When you verbalize it, it becomes a really concrete, much more concrete goal. And other people get involved and they can help you. you know, your spouse knows you're trying to lose weight. Okay, so they'll maybe cook a little bit differently or they'll, they'll encourage you, things like that. So you have to verbalize your goals um, and have slogans, have your pump up slogans that get you motivated when you're feeling down. You know, you can do it, or gamzu uh, letova. Um, so, and don't verbalize negative speech. Don't call yourself names. Don't try not to call other people names. Stay away from, of course, gossip and negative speech. So words have tremendous power, and um, we need to be aware of that and realize that words can help us tremendously and hurt us tremendously too. So we need to work, use our speech in the right way to help us learn Torah better, to internalize Torah, to help other people, and to make a positive change in the world through our positive speech. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned for the fourth of the 48 Ways to Wisdom, which is Binat Halev.
understanding of 